Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, back with another drawing video. Um, today's video, I didn't have time to pre-draw um, the picture this week, so we're just going to look off the computer and draw it uh, from here. But we're drawing a Chaos, uh, or technically Chaos Zero, from Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure DX, uh, either one. And this video was requested by uh, MD Hosan. Thank you so much for the request. And, um... Yeah, and pretty much it's basically just Father's Day, so like, I didn't have time to pre-draw this, so, um, so yeah, we're just gonna be looking off the computer and, uh, drawing it from there. So, uh, anyway guys, not much else to say, uh, get your pencils ready and, uh, let's jump in. Alright guys, so, to start off drawing chaos, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a circle, kinda like everything else we ever do. And we're going to make it a decent size. Something like that. And now looking at like kind of the line of action, it kind of goes like this. Kind of into his foot here. Is that way he has like another leg that kind of angles down and over. Kind of like this. And then his two toes. And then he kind of has like an arm going out here. Another arm going out here. He's kind of like in this really slouchy pose. It actually looks kind of cool. So we get something like that. Oop, I forgot to put my camera in. That'll be a problem when uh, the camera dies. I am so professional, aren't I? <laughs> so anyway, so since we got that down, we kind of gesture in his body. Um, it's going to be kind of this bean type shape. Something like this. And then... Like that, and then his legs are pretty thin. This one just kind of goes down. Like that. And then his hand will be somewhere around here. This hand will be somewhere around here. I'll we'll just do big ovals for them. And there's kind of lines going in. I think think that's pretty good. Pretty good for the gesture. And oh, he has uh, some spikes going out. One here, one kind of down here. And uh, kind of like a little bump up here. So that's pretty much good for the gesture that we need for now. So let's just jump into detail. So looking at this picture here, um, we can draw the crosshairs if you want. It'd be something like this. But uh, I'm going to start off with his, or uh, kind of like his nose area thing. So basically it looks like it's just going to be a, a U type shape. And just going to go up and over like this. And then this one's just going to go up. And then kind of curve in a little bit here. And then he's going to get an oval for an eye right here. And then, same thing on this side, you're going to go off this line and just kind of draw in a big kind of oval or egg shape. Like that. And then we're going to get another curved line that just kind of follows this line that we have. And he doesn't have much of a mouth, but there is a little spike that comes down here. And then goes up. Like that. And then his mouth is just kind of like a curve line that curves in like this. And then you get another little spike here because he has one on each side. And now we're going to start drawing like a circle here, but we're going to stop about halfway up here. And then draw a line going up and then over and then down. And it's going to kind of go into this spike here. Help if it was on camera. God. All right. So we're gonna draw a curve line, starting here, it goes up, over, down. Now we're gonna kind of curve it into this spike here, and the spike is just kind of like a curve line. But when you get near the end here, it kind of curves down slightly steeper, like that, and it's kind of rounded too. So it's not like real spiky. 
and I'm just going to draw a curve line that kind of connects into it like that. There we go. And take the plastic off the eraser. And then just to finish off his head here, we're going to draw in like his exposed brain. So basically to draw that, we're going to draw a big oval like that. And then another little curve line underneath, or like a kind of like a U-shape underneath that one. And then just a long spike that goes out here and here like that. And then off that spike, you can kind of draw like little lines going out. So it's like his brain stem. And he has a really weird, weird design of an exposed brain like that. But once we get that down, you just kind of draw in like little curve lines like on the brain here. Like that. And then once you get that down, we kind of jump into his body here. Which we're going to jump into his uh, arm first since it's kind of like in front of everything. So basically this curve line and then just this long line that goes down and then kind of curves out and over and then in. And now we're going to get like his middle finger thing here. He only has three so that's just going to be a curve line that curves in like this and you get kind of like a a V almost and then again you want to keep it real thin and then when you get to the hand it gets real thicker so it curves out and over like this so there's one hand and now you can kind of draw the rest of his body in which it curves down and then you get like a kind of a steep curve here where his back is bending and then it goes into his leg here. And his leg is actually, we're going to draw a little curve line and curve it in like this. So, and then we're going to draw another thin line that goes up and over. And then his, um, his foot is very similar to his hand as it just kind of goes out. But this time there's only like a two toes. So it goes out. Curves over and down like this, and then a curve line that curves over here and down. That's one foot, and then this foot kind of just goes off here, curves down and over, and this is where you get kind of like a foot shape. It's going to go out like this. This one goes over down like that and then you get like another toe right here and this just kind of goes up and over and now for his body we're going to start about here and just kind of curve it in and down like that again he's really lanky looking actually that, that foot's really big <laughs> Looking at it now, see, and like that's good. This is why, like, you draw a light, you draw a gesture in. So, like, when you're drawing it out, you can kind of see that, like, hey, this foot's way too big. And again, I'm just kind of following the steps that I made before, just shrinking it down a whole bunch, like that. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And again, erase all the lines that we don't need. Just so it comes in clear. That's good. And now we're going to draw his um, other hand. So it basically kind of comes out here and goes down and over. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw in kind of the thumb first. So it's going to go out, over, and in like this. So you get kind of like a curve out. But off this line, we're going to draw in the two fingers. So here's going to be one of them. And then we got a second one here. And these are just kind of like V's or big spikes coming out. And they just kind of go into the uh, arm here. Like that. And if you want to, you can kind of erase a little bit of the overlap. Right here, so the thumb kind of sticks out a bit more. Like that. 
And now we can draw in his other spike, which just kind of goes down and over. See a little bit on the bottom here, goes up and over. And now just gonna kind of finish off uh, Chaos. He, since he's like a water monster, we can kind of draw in bubbles. So basically to do that, I just like drawing in like big circles. And then for like bubbles, a good way to do it is to draw a big circle and then like right off the edge, draw another big circle. Like two touching and then one and two kind of going off. So basically, um, random parts of his body, like here, you'll draw an oval, and then, because like when bubbles go up, they kind of like overlap each other a little bit, so I like them overlapping on like a big bubble, so it's basically shaped like this, a bubble under here, and then as you go farther away from like this main bubble, they get slightly smaller, so you get like that, there's another one over here, and you have to have them all touching. Uh, but always have like a like one or two be a bubble here and here and a couple over here again since he's made of all water this is just kind of what he looks like like that another bubble here and here put a couple on his foot here Maybe one over here, and this one will have an overlap like that. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much good. Maybe one more over there. And again, you could put as many or as little as you want. Um, put another over here. Like that. But pretty much, that's how you draw um, Chaos Zero, or Normal Chaos, or whatever you want to call them, uh, from Sonic Adventure DX. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, he's not really hard. I... I Highly recommend you look at a picture of him before you draw him. And um, he's kind of a, like a weird Sonic character because he's very lanky. Uh, but like he doesn't seem that big because he's always like really hunched over. Like he's always like super bended. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like I, I, Chaos would be pretty tall if he ever stood up straight. But um, I guess he just doesn't like doing it. But anyway... Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you again, MD Hosan, for uh, the request. Uh, if you guys have requests, I do take them. Basically, all you need to do is leave what you want me to draw in the comment section below. I will take your name and what you requested and put it on my how to draw list. And then on Sunday, when I make a drawing video, I randomly pick one off the list. There's no rhyme or reason. And since we are in June, we are in Sonic Month. Uh, so all the how to draw videos that I'll be doing this month will be Sonic related, so this is why I drew Chaos today. So, um, anyway guys, oh, and it also is, uh, Father's Day, so happy Father's Day, uh, to all you when I'm uploading this, and, um, other than that, have a great day, and I'll, uh, see you in the next video. Okay, thanks, bye, later.